So we are looking at eight places you can farm for a smithing stone six from enemies in this video. So the first place we're going to go to is the Avenue Balcony. The soldiers here that we're going to be farming will also drop fours and fives as well. I would recommend using a silver pickle falfoot for this farm for the best chance of getting the drops. Sixes seem to be the hardest thing to drop here. But there seems to be only a few places where you can get sixes before uh, the Golden Shade and Morgoth. This is one of them. There you go. Got your six. And you might want to try switching it up like, you know, daytime, nighttime kind of stuff to see which works better to get it to drop. But they just don't like to drop anything at all, though. And now I also like to farm these guys from behind. I come to the grace up here so I can drop down behind them and take out the big guy. The soldiers all around here are supposed to drop or have a chance to drop these things. You know, it's just RNG. But these guys are the closest to a grace and a little farm you can do. The other ones are all protected by big guys like this who are pretty strong and powerful. So. deep under the city to the deep root depths so you can get here before defeating uh, Morgoth and the Golden Shade if you go through uh, Nokron otherwise if you're coming down underneath the city you'd have to take out Golden Shade, Morgoth and then move before in the Shunning Realms below the city so you just gotta make sure you don't take down so you just got to make sure you don't take down the mausoleum. As long as it's standing and uh, using its bell, then you'll be okay. These guys will still spawn here. We got four, fives, and sixes here. And even as you can see for an end game character that I'm farming with, I'm having my difficulty with them. Most of the time throughout the video, of course, I'm using the Silver Pope of Falfa to add 50 to my discovery. And I should be running about 200 even without it, so on 250. Just a few things to make it a little easier for me to get some drops here. But there'll be plenty of targets just wandering around down here. When you think you found them all, then we will find another batch of them, so... Okay, so once we get past the city, or the capital, I mean, you'll eventually make your way over here. So let's get over here to the catacombs. Looks like we've got some imps in here, so we're going to get some six and sevens in here with these guys.
it's probably the earliest place you're going to be able to get actually the uh, seven before you get to the concentrated snowfield. So now we're going to be looking at another imp farm, but these guys drop sixes in here. Now I run past that guy because I'm wearing the uh, talisman that makes it so you can't hear my feet steps. Of course, you got to get him into the light. So we got these two here. I jumped through that window right there next to where the coffin was or whatever it was. If you want to call it that way, hopefully I won't get this guy to pay attention to me, the cat dude. But we come down the stairs here and you see him on the ceiling right there. So we go a little farther down and we'll also get these two guys to drop down. And so they can follow us up as well so we can get four guys in this uh, farm here. But they drop sixes, but there's better places to farm sixes, of course. Now we're into the uh, concentrated snowfield, of course. And these guys will drop six and sevens in this catacomb. We got more imps. Then we get up here, we go to the right, and we find one of these uh, imps right here we can take out. Okay. I meant when we get up here, we go to the left. And then we keep going down here, and we'll find a room full of imps. this place very much at all. Look at that, he got on my back. At least I got a 7 from him. I'll show you right here. There's one more right up there on the top. You see him. But I'm done with this place. I don't care. There, we're done. But you can't get sixes there, too. Now, this is, of course, the fun place where everybody goes, get your six, sevens, and eights here. Because we actually got miners this time. So with the higher drop rate and an easy little farm place. Now we just got to run past the uh, Alabaster Lord there. Now we got our montage here.
pretty long montage, it seems. Yeah, so definitely that's the place to go if you want to. Six, seven, or eight there, so. Once you get over here. Now the soldiers will be farming next. We'll uh, also drop six, sevens, and eights out here. But it's a very low drop rate, especially for eights. But you'll just find them all wandering around here. There's one there, I think there's one down below him. But this group right here in the middle is what we concentrate on, and down below here. You'll see here between uh, Torrance Horns, there's two over there. A little farther up north here, there's a couple there. And if you go farther up north, there's a big bear up there. But you see, you'll get your sixes and your sevens and eights here. But the tunnel has way better drop rates than we just were in the yellow. Uh, tunnel. Or however you pronounce it, is it yellow and next tunnel? Now, once you do over get get over here to the Halic Tree and you get to the prayer room, Grace, there's a whole bunch of knights you can farm for six, sevens, and eights. Again, the eights have a very, very low drop right here. At least they did with me even when I was running uh, 250 discovery. I'm gonna run around and show you where they're at first. There's so many of them. Of course, you'll see the two right there, one right there. Now some of these are the soldiers that'll drop something, but every once in a while the soldiers that are just going to drop you what smoldering butterflies most likely, or maybe a mushroom. Let's run around, take a look, and see where they're at here. it and then we're back at the grace so now it's time for the montage That guy dropped an 8, but I have to follow it down to go get it, so...
But yeah, that's about it. So um, hopefully something helped you out there. And uh, thanks for watching. And good luck out there.